so right on plan. Um, hello. Hello, everyone. Uh, well, first of all, round of applause for the amazing Maggie and Meg. <laughs> for the amazing people at Books, Inc. because they gave us ponies. Yeah. <laughs> I love this pony. And he's going to make such a nice snack later. <laughs> so that kind of leads into, um, I love that um, Maggie and Meg wrote stories about uh, dogs when they were younger because the first story that I remember writing was in fifth grade for Mrs. Caulfield's class. It was a Halloween story. And um, I just remember, I, I illustrated it too. I have no skill as an illustrator. <laughs> that didn't stop me. And um, it was this Halloween story. I read a lot of horror growing up. And I watched things like Hammer Horror Films. I was really into that kind of stuff. And, uh, and so I wrote this story about these uh, vampires who were, I know, I was really ahead of the curve. Way <laughs> uh, But my vampires were like ravaging these women. They were like, you know, pictures of like, ugh, and they were the neck. And, uh, and there were heads on pikes. I'm not kidding you, there were heads on pikes, people. I did not play around as a fifth grader. I was like, what do you got? I got heads on pikes. <laughs> also, peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> And um, it's the kind of thing that these days, you know, you would get, your parents would get, like, a call from Child Protective Services. <laughs> I'm a little concerned about the uh, But instead, I got a check plus, which was like an A plus, which just shows you the, the uh, kind of the level of neglect in the public schools at that time. But, um, so I was really stoked. That was exciting to me. And um, so do you think that then I decided to, uh, to have a career in writing? No. No, I didn't. Because uh, I'm, I'm dumb like that. So um, instead, I, I quit piano and quit writing and quit art and said, I'm going to play basketball. I'm, I'm, would you stand up next to me for a minute, Mac? I'll just give the people a little. <laughs> just one of my brilliant career moves. Thank you. I also have no hand-eye coordination. <laughs> you know what I could have done? I could have been a share in the ticker. That's still a dream I have. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Anyway, so I wrote. Uh, I wrote. Yeah, I was kind of cheerfully a cheerful Wednesday Adams growing up. You know, so this was sort of like, oh, what are you doing, Liva? I'm writing a story. Oh, what's the story about? Well, there's like, there's a forest, and there, there are all kinds of cool people, and there are like pixies, and and things are happening, and then everyone is going to die. <laughs> Why do people think I'm creepy? <laughs> I, I, I can't figure that out. Um, so, so yeah, so I, I, it took me a long time to kind of figure out that that's what I wanted to do. I, I went through sort of a list of things, um, which were, I remember, crossing guard at one point, because I, I totally dug the uniform, and probably the sense of power, too. <laughs> The whistle. I mean, it has accessories. Who doesn't love that? I wanted to be a nun for a weekend, but I think that was because I OD'd on The Sound of Music. <laughs> um, I wanted to be David Bowie, but um, David Bowie got to be David Bowie first, which, you know, I think that's a little unfair. He's been David Bowie for a long time. He can share. The word share. Uh, I, wanted to be, uh, I wanted to be a filmmaker at one point. Um, I wanted to be an actress at one point. Um, I wanted to be a playwright. <laughs> that's, that's a lucrative career. Um, I'm still working through the scars. And, um, and it, so it took, took me a long time to kind of figure out what I wanted to be because I just was not, I was not one of those teens. I'm kind of, I really admire teens now who just seem to have like this sense of purpose because I really was content to lie in my bedroom and listen to a lot of Pink Floyd albums mm -hmm. and imagine that Roger Waters and I would run away and be glamorously depressed together, <laughs> which mostly involved wearing a lot of eyeliner and imagining that we would tromp through the moors wearing a lot of hats and going, <laughs> only in a British way. Uh, and, and, you know, just, I, I, so, so it took me a long time. Um, I know I'm supposed to talk about my book. Now, here's the thing. 